Hey, it's Hannah and today's video is going to be my December bullet journal setup and it is crazy to me how it is already December but I'm so excited to share how these spreads turned out so let's get planning. Okay, so first off, happy December. It is so crazy to me that it is already the end of the year but I am so ready for 2020. For my December's theme, I didn't want to go crazy and doodle heavy. I wanted to kind of keep it more simple, but I also tried something new that I've never done before, and that is the incorporation of paper into my design, and I knew that I just wanted to do something different. So to start out, I just ripped two pieces of paper, some tan paper and some red paper, and those are going to be kind of like the base colors of this entire theme and I just wrote out December in my brown zebra mild liner and went over and did some highlights with my white gel pen. I didn't want this spread to be too plain so with that same white gel pen I just went in and did some white dots kind of giving the page like a snow look to it and at the bottom in the red paper I just wrote it's the most wonderful time of the year because not gonna lie I'm kind of getting into the holiday spirit so then I went in with a gold paint pen and added some little stars and then I realized that just to give it a little bit more I wanted to add more dots with the gold and with a red Tombow dual brush pen and I realized that the white was kind of looking plain so I went in and just added more stars to completely tie the page together and I am just so happy with the way that the title page looks. For this month, I wanted to change things up and try a new layout. I don't use a typical calendar, so I made a Dutch door and split my month up by events and assignment due dates. At the top, I just scribbled in some red using that same red brush pen and wrote out events and due dates using a black brush pen. The black on the red wasn't standing out how I wanted it to, so I just added some white highlights to make it pop and then I just numbered down 1 to 31 in each column. It is much easier for me to be able to look at two different things to decipher what I'm doing on each day, especially with having school, and I know the semester is almost over, but I am actually taking a winter class, so I will have more due dates after finals week, so I figured that would be a good thing to have for this month. I really wanted a space to be able to own in on my thoughts, kind of, so I went in and did three boxes of alternating colors, continuing with the same theme, and I just did my goals for the month, monthly highlights that I'll go back in at the end of the month and write in there, and then ideas, plans, goals, anything that I can think of for January. And to keep everything the same, I went in and drew more stars and more dots all over and I am so obsessed with the way that this looks. I thought I was obsessed with November spreads, but this month is so much better. I actually made a video of my November spread, so if you wanted to watch that, I will put a card in the corner here. My camera shut off so I lost the footage of me putting the paper down and writing the title but I just printed the word habit in my black brush pen and wrote tracker in cursive using my fine liner. I'm not the best with names so I would just put every product that I used down in the description box. I am so bad at actually using these trackers but I've been so busy that I've been forgetting to do things that are important to me, so I'm giving it another shot. <laughs> that being said, I only did six habits, so I just made six little calendars for each habit, and at the top, I alternated colors from the theme to give a spot for like the header and to keep the page colorful, and I forgot how, how long it takes to write all of the numbers out and man did my hand start cramping up while making this page. <laughs> At the bottom I wanted to incorporate the same design from the page before so I did more colorful dots and some 
little stars again and on the paper I wrote fellow love because I wanted to add something more holiday like to this page and honestly it's so cute I really hope that I use it and for the next spread I just did the opposite color and position of the paper I am keeping it simple because this is going to be a brain dump spread all I did was write out brain dump in cursive using my paint pen and created a brown border to follow the theme moving on I wanted to create some holiday spreads and Keeping things somewhat simple is what's easiest for me, so I just made a spread of two lists, the gifts I am giving and a wish list. I layered paper up at the top to mix it up while still using the paper. It honestly looks kind of festive like that and I love it. Inside the smaller paper I wrote in cursive gift list and wish list and added more stars and dots all scattered. And on the wish list page, my paint pen must have broke and the paint leaked onto the paper in a couple spots. And I, but I still really like the way that this turned out, and it would be a really easy spread to recreate. After I recorded, I actually went in and did the same type of border as I did on the brain dump page, just because I felt like it needed something else to tie it all together. I am so excited about my weekly spreads for this month. I cut up a bunch of pieces of paper and stuck them all at the top so that I could write out the day of the weeks. And I am continuing to break up all of my days into my academics, social stuff, things I need to do, and the things I want to do. As a student, this way really helps me stay organized and productive, which is so necessary right now because finals are in like two weeks. I wrote all of the days in my black brush pen and went back in and underlined them all in white since once again the black really wasn't showing up over the red paper. To split up my days, I just wrote out the four categories in my fine liner and actually went in and underlined those as well in alternating colors with the brown and the red. And to follow the past couple pages I went in with the brown and just created a small border at the bottom just to kind of keep the things I need to do and the things I want to do size wise pretty similar just because it looked kind of unproportional but I kept everything all the same all throughout the spread for both double spreads of the same week and it does take up a lot of paper but I like having the extra room because it really allows me to write out every single thing that needs done and since my pen broke i ended up just using a yellowish gold crayola super tip marker to draw the stars i don't necessarily love it but it still works really well with the spread like i said before i just did this spread the exact same as i did the last page and i accept i added a notes column at the end of the week just because there would have been an extra space and I didn't want to waste the space so I just did that and it turns out that I actually messed up because I I didn't mean to break the notes category up into four categories but maybe that will help me stay more organized but we'll see I am so happy with the way that this entire monthly setup has turned out I actually think that this is the favorite my favorite spread that I've Ever done in any of my journals and I've been journaling for like two years so this is how my December monthly spreads look watching if you like the video please make sure to like and subscribe for more bullet journal videos in the future